The RX bridge can be used to measure the resonant frequency of coaxial traps. Here is an example of a W8NX trap used uh, in multiband dipoles as published in the ARRL handbook. Now, what you see here is the trap just prior to it being uh, soldered up. It's uh, in the construction phase. When I've completed it, I'll put it on the RX1 bridge and I'll test to see if it's resonant on the frequency stated in the handbook, which is 7.15 MHz. I'm not using exactly the same materials as per the magazine, so I'm not quite sure if it will be on the right frequency. So I'll use the RX1 bridge to, um, to check that out. Having completed the W8NX trap, we are now ready to test it. This is the completed trap. One method used for adjusting traps or testing their resonant frequency with an impedance bridge is to place a 100 ohm resistor across the Z-unknown connector. Here I've soldered a 100 ohm resistor across this little jig I've made and I'm going to connect the trap across those terminals. The theory behind that is that the 100 ohm resistor on its own will null at 100 ohms on the resistance dial and zero reactance. When a parallel tuned circuit is placed across that resistor the parallel tuned circuit will effectively short the resistor out at all frequencies except its resonant frequency. So if you tune the receiver around, you'll hear a null at the resonant frequency of the trap. So the first thing we'll do is plug the little jig into the Z-unknown connector of the bridge and we will null the bridge for 100 ohms at any frequency. There you go. I've now connected the trap across the small adapter I've made. It is there. And I will plug the trap into the Z-unknown connector of the bridge. Yep. Without touching the R or X dials on the impedance bridge, I will now tune the receiver around looking for a null. Yeah. Volume up a bit. It's around about there. We can check on the bridge that we're still on the 100 ohms or thereabouts, which we are, and the reactance is near zero. It won't be exactly zero because the jig itself contains a couple of uh, little straps I had to put in to join the jig to the trap. These traps uh, introduce a little bit of reactance, which is not part of the trap, so there will be a slight, uh, slight change to the reactance reading. But the important thing is to null the bridge with the resistor and the straps before connecting the trap across the jig. Uh, this particular trap was to resonate at 7.15 MHz, and that's approximately where I found it resonated. So the trap I've built is, uh, is pretty good. So there it is. Unplug it. These little adapters are quite handy for uh, testing traps.